Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a cubic equation. A cubic equation whose roots are a, b, and c. And the equation is x cubed plus 2bcx plus 1 equals 0. To solve this problem, we're going to be using what's called Vieta's formulas. So let's talk about Vieta's formulas first. I, by the way, I made a separate video on Vieta's formulas with lots of examples. Uh, you can definitely take a look at it. I'll link it down below. Okay. We have those formulas for a cubic equation. Obviously, you can write it for any polynomial equation. Gives us the following. Suppose we have the following cubic equation. And suppose the roots are x1, x2, and x3 for this equation. So we can safely say that by Vieta's formulas, the sum of the roots, x1 plus x2 plus x3, can be written as negative a2 over a3, and then the two-way products can be written as a1 over a3. And then finally, the product of two roots, which is x1 times x2 times x3, can be written as negative a sub 0 over a sub 3. Now notice that the signs will alternate starting with the negative sign for the sum of the roots, and this is true for all degrees of polynomial equations. So for our problem, we are going to be doing the same thing. Now here's our equation, one more time, x cubed plus 2bcx plus 1 is equal to 0. And we're given that the roots are a, b, and c. So let's go ahead and write down the sum, a plus b plus c. That is equal to negative a2 over a3, but notice that a2 is the coefficient of x squared, but we don't have x squared in this equation, right? So the coefficient of x squared is 0. So we can actually start by writing the coefficients. a3 is equal to 1, a2 is equal to 0, there's no x squared, a1 is equal to 2, bc, the coefficient of x, and a sub 0 is the constant term, which is 1. So that'll make it a little easier for substitution. The sum of the roots is negative a2 over a3, as you can see here, and a2 is 0, so this is 0. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and write the second one, ab plus ac plus bc, which is my second bullet point here. In the second bullet point is equal to a1 over a3, but a1 is equal to 2bc, and a3 is 1. So we don't actually need to even divide by a3 because a3 is equal to 1. So this is going to equal 2bc. Okay, since I have the 2b, I could probably say something like 2b or not 2b, but it's just 2bc. Okay, now here's one thing that I can do uh, here. Uh, we can just go ahead and factor out some of these terms, right? So in the second equation, I get something nice. But let me go ahead and write the third one as well. After that, I'm going to work with the system. What is the product? The product is equal to the third bullet point here is negative a0 over a3, but a3 is 1, so it's basically negative a0, and a0 is equal to 1, so it is equal to negative 1. Great. So this is my system, and I'm going to be solving this system. Right? Okay. So this is a system of three equations, and we can easily solve it. First of all, start with the second equation, because I can subtract bc from both sides, and that should give me something nice. Okay, when I subtract BC, I get AB plus AC is equal to 2BC minus BC, which is 1BC or just BC. So here I can factor out the A and write this as B plus C equals BC. Great. So that gave me one relationship that I could use. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first equation now. The first equation is actually going to allow me to write B plus C in terms of A. Let's go ahead and do it here a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So from here, b plus c is equal to negative a. Now I want to go ahead and substitute that here. Okay, let's go ahead and substitute the value of b plus c here, which is negative a. And this is going to give me negative a squared equals bc. But I'd like to write it as bc equals negative a squared, right? But let's go ahead and take a look at the third equation at this point. We do now know that ABC is equal to negative 1, right? ABC is equal to negative 1. And we got this equation here. BC can be written as negative A squared, right? So I can replace BC with negative A squared. 
and there you go this is going to give me the value of a from here i get negative a cubed is equal to negative one which means a cubed is equal to one which means a is equal to one of course i'm looking for real values don't you know don't be mad just because I didn't get into complex, you can definitely go into the complex values as well. But A equals 1 from this equation if I'm looking for a real solution. Great. So I got the value of A, and I did get BC is equal to negative A squared, and B plus C is equal to negative. Let's go ahead and write them again. So I have B plus C is equal to negative A, and BC is equal to negative A squared. But A is equal to 1, so B plus C can be written as negative 1, and BC can also be written as negative 1. So I got the following system. B plus C is equal to negative 1, and BC is equal to negative 1. Obviously, this system can easily be solved because it's quadratic, but let's go ahead and think about it in terms of Vieta one more time. Now, Vieta said that if you know the sum of the roots and the product, then you can write the equation. How do you do that? Well, this equation can be written as u squared minus b plus c plus bc equals 0. So this equation is an equation whose roots are b and c. And that's what we have. So let's go ahead and write it down. b plus c is equal to negative 1. So this is going to give me, by the way, I forgot the u here. That should be a u. Okay, so u squared minus the quantity b plus c times u plus bc equals 0. Okay. So this is kind of like using the Vieta's formulas um, backwards, sort of. B plus C is equal to negative 1. So this gives us U squared plus U minus 1 is equal to 0. So I kind of get some goldenish flavors here. But anyways, let's go ahead and find it. So this is the equation whose roots are B and C. Interchangeably, let's go ahead and find the U values by using the quadratic formula. It's going to give me negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4ac, which is plus 4, divided by 2. And if I work it out, it gives me negative 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this means that b can be negative 1 plus root 5 over 2, and c would be the other one, and vice versa. OK, great. So this gave us the b and c values you know, interchangeably. And we already have the a value as 1. Remember that. Let's go ahead and put it together and write our solutions as ordered triples. So the ordered triple ABC is either equal to 1 comma negative 1 plus root 5 over 2, negative 1 minus root 5 over 2, or it can be 1 comma negative 1 minus root 5 over 2 and negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. Since B and C values are interchangeable, I can do the following, but I can't do the same thing with A because A has a fixed value. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.